Shane Gillis had a special, and boy, did he learn how to smile. He'll never look at the special the same way again after I show you some of his smiles. Wow, he really, really put in some effort with this one. Now, listen, can I say it's good? No, uh, because the Shane I know is sad and filled with fears. You know, when you see Shane Gillis on a podcast, he's mostly like fear-based participating and he looks sad. That's the Shane I almost wanted from the special, but we didn't get that. We got a stage ready Shane who is smiling from ear to ear. And this is the Shane that I bet you was on his little SNL impression. Speaking of or, uh, audition, SNL audition, I should say. And we think maybe we know what his audition could have been. I think we should show that too. Something spooky with one of Shane's impressions. Should we just see his smiling face? Now, his friends are going to be real jealous of him. Because I'll tell you this, compared to Tom Segura's special, um, uh, Theo Vaughn, Mark Norman's special that just came out, and all the other specials around there, he's actually looks like he's putting on a little show there. In comparison, in comparison... I couldn't believe it. I thought he was going to come out in the Notre Dame. Come out in the Notre Dame with his tits and kind of, you know, scaredly get it over with. But no, he really put on a nice show. Let's take a look. Oh, there he is. And he's uh, really leaning into this retard thing with himself. Here he is. Look at him. Comes out, it's the best he's ever looked. They've he's got him in a smiling. brand new t shirt, an appropriate weight for his frame. This is the first time we've seen him in an appropriate weighted t shirt <laughs> that wasn't too thin or too loose. So it's the first time, this is the best we've ever seen Shane dressed. You know, they've got a light coat of makeup on him, giving him some life. We usually see him, I mean, really, he has some of the worst skin in the game. We usually see him, he's so pale, not only pale, but he's got spots and it's uh what do they call that when it's uneven this mustache serves him i think when you see a picture of him without the mustache now it's like Ugh. let's see and he, he's looking sharp his pants seem to be well we'll get into the we'll pants we'll get oh so here's the thing if you don't bomb during your special we're just gonna pick on how you look which is worse you decide so, yeah, with Shane, we didn't catch any big moments where, ha, 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 gotcha. I maybe even laughed once or twice. I'm not going to lie. But I we did <laughs> notice some stuff about his physical appearance, which could, in fact, be worse than being. <laughs> to Shane Gellis, everybody. Thank you. That was very nice. Low echo. It is good to be down here, Virginia. Hmm. Downhill. Okay. I didn't write down any parts because everything. Was of course, funny. I got this. Here is his uh, from the back side. Now, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be shot from the back, <laughs> especially with an ass like me. You know, this is. I've seen worse angles here, but this is very. He has a very melt. If I told you, hey, Pat, look, Patrick Melton, you might think that. Oh wait, you know what? I should move him over here. Look, Patrick Melton, maybe you'd think Melton a little bit there. He's, it's reminiscent of Melton with the no ass, but the meaty back. That's what I mean. I never noticed this back on him before. I had to watch an hour of him not I bombing. Really wish, you might you know, as well just bomb, because yeah, right, then I won't start looking at your back. Write down for me that I do need to get a new pointer uh, for stuff got like this. It, new got pointer. It, got it. As you can see, though, uh-oh, they've Netflixed me. Uh it rounds out here, so it's almost like that turtles. It rounds out here and then rounds back in on the bottom. So it, it makes a C. You know, if you're looking at him from the side, it's like makes a C. It rounds back now, in. Is that better? Because at the front of him, you're not like, oh, my God, he's like he's big. But you're not like, holy shit, look at this fat piece of shit. But then from the back, you're like, what is this, Melton? You. And you'll see this might be a, this might be a more slimming angle than some of the <laughs> angles we have. But... There is a missing cheek here and a lot of stuff in the pockets to fill out the missing anus. 
Okay, I've noticed, I think, Mark Norman do this too. Who did I just notice? They put a lot of stuff in their back pocket. I don't know what they're fooling, but who would want to ride around with this, you know, you thing of bubble tape here? <laughs> you know, I, I don't know what that could be. A charger for his phone. It's his wallet and his shoe, baby. Oh, his shoe, of course. Yes, look at that. He's not gay. But you would put that back there. Why during your special would you have anything in your pockets? I don't have anything in my pockets during the show. You put stuff in your pockets when you're on the go. Are you going to have to pay the check soon? Yeah, so I think he's trying to fill out his backside here, which is fine. I thought he looked great. And Shane, you know, this is probably as bad as it gets. It's really not bad for you. Um, but just a different side. I don't really get to see him from the back, I guess, a lot. Let's and see. And I didn't oh. know that he had such a sloping neck. Mm. Maybe you'll see <laughs> Let's see. He makes me think of the guy from the finale of John Wilson when there's that long shot of him walking around and the top of his neck is a complete right angle. He's going to be like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what I'm seeing and what you can see here, maybe with my arrow, his shirt is sticking out about seven inches past where the jeans are. So there is this gap here between, you know, a gap between the shirt and the butt. So that's interesting. You know, most people have a butt that meets this gap, kind of. But you got a very big uh, cavernish area here. Interesting enough, he could probably sit on some stuff, and it would have, like, a carved-out area so he wouldn't be sitting directly on it. Like, he could put <laughs> two things on a chair and sit on it, and they'd be nested within the cave that exists, if that makes sense. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's check out his right. smile. A killer smile during this yeah. special. Right. We Charmed travel a lot me. for this. We went to Australia. So rarely will you see that smile go off with Shane today. He keeps that smile. This is about as low as the smile gets. But don't be fooled. That face has been put into a smile. He is happy to be here. It was all right. Anytime I go to another country, as soon as I get out of the airport low. and start like driving around, I'm just like, dude, <laughs> this is your fucking country, dude. Other countries suck. Dude. America is number one. So dude, big smile, and sometimes it gets too much. When you start noticing it halfway through, you're going, "This is getting maniacal here with the <laughs> smile. It's getting too smiley." So please watch it with that in mind. Watch it with this smile business that he's doing. He's trying to solve me something. Obviously, he's smiling. So I've never smiled for an hour straight. Have you? Unless someone's got a gun to my fucking back. I'm smiling constantly. Yeah. But. It's not even close. It's official. I've been to like three other. Now, you know, I don't know. Why don't you send me over? Send me over. Um. He just did a 30-minute special on Gas Digital. No. Oh, Kurt Metzger. Kurt Metzger. Send me over Kurt Metzger's new special. I just want to see something. It, this could be my mind playing tricks on me, but Shane... If it's up to my mind, I'll say, it seems like Shane is doing <laughs> Kurt Metzger. You know, There's these no are the way. things that Joke World fails to see. Um, I, I just want to see... Does Kurt Metzger do a thing like this, a shaky thing where he holds the mic with two hands like this? I didn't watch I even hear. Special. We're going to find out. Let's just watch a little bit of Shane. I don't know if it's just me. I could be totally wrong, but I'm seeing a Metzger, and then I'm thinking New York City, right? Isn't that where Shane does his comedy or did? New York City. Kurt Metzger's the king of these New York City little <laughs> joints, right? He could be every night seeing Kurt Metzger do stand-up. He could have been copying Kurt Metzger's whole career. I'm hoping. I don't know anything about this. Maybe somebody in the chat will let us know. Let's watch a little. Countries, it's official. <laughs> and other countries hate it, too. They hate that we're number one. You ever tell them? You ever go to another country and tell them we're number one? Swim up to, like, a pool bar? Just... <laughs> you know, we're cut number that one. microphone when you just cut it. They hate it, dude. They try to bring yeah, there bullshit you go. to bring us down. Okay, let's remember that. This could just be my mind playing tricks on me. I really don't know. Look at that. That could have been the Netflix thumbnail there. I'm surprised they didn't thumbnail this, bro. Robin Tran says, yes, he does. Kurt Metzger does that. Oh, my God, yes. So. Whoa, baby. <laughs> Let's roll the Kurt Metzger tapes. Have I found a secret copycat that no one knew about?
Let's find out. Robin Trans, pretty fucking See, sharp. This is why you might as well just bomb because we'll stop at nothing. If you bomb, it's easy. I go, look, you just bomb. Bye. If you don't bomb, I'm digging through every frame. <laughs> I will find negligence in your stand up special. Believe me, because it's not an honest thing to do. A special. <laughs> Let's look at Kurt Metzger. Did I just open a can of worms here? Has Shane secretly been doing Kurt? Who would think? Because the you know they're so different, right? You I know, didn't... and New York City. I think I was make some noise for yeah. Kurt Metzger. Oh, okay, that might make sense. So now we're gonna see. We've got Shane right here on Netflix doing. You know, this is what reminded me. Just in the back of my head, and I don't know if this is. I could turn this on. It could be nothing like it. You know. Could this be a mix of Kurt Maxter and the Gemstones guy, Kenny Powers? Could that be what Shane Gillis is, and that's why people are relating him? Because, oh, if you didn't know this, the comedy world is in love with Shane. They are not worthy. I Joke mean, who world. who else do they have? Who else do they have? That's perfect. That's the problem. They have no one else. So the best of the worst is always going to rise to the top. At least Shane... <sighs> I get what they're saying about this is comedy. I get it, but not enough for me. I require heavy amounts of this comedy. The comedy that nobody's ever seen before. Mike's favorite comic is Steph Kalev. <laughs> Steph? Who's that girl? That you oh, the big fucking fat Jew chick? <laughs> Steph Kalev. Okay, let's watch Ooh. Kurt Metzger. Let's see if I'm right. This was a back of the head thought. This could be totally off. This is from Gas. Cast Digital, produced by Luis J. Gomez. Same outfit. Are they going to double hand that mic? Are they going to? Okay, it's just Kurt Metzger. Um, okay, oh, no. He's double handed the mic immediately. So let's see here. Are they this. like the only people who do that or something? I mean, <laughs> they look pretty similar. It's right pretty <laughs> similar. And I feel like the shtick is also similar. Let's narrow it. Wait. Just want to get you guys. So we already got this right away. We got this right away. And I think Shane knows I'm under something. This is why they fucking really hate me. Hey, we like, said Damn it, dude. I thought that was fully a hidden. I thought that side of me was fully fooling everyone. You know, he didn't think anyone saw it, and he didn't even believe it anymore because nobody, people would point it out if I was doing Kurt Metzger, right? Wrong. I think we're being pretty nice. So far, pretty nice. Just a, a cave in Uranus. That's in this? Nothing. Well, let's see. I do appreciate you guys coming. Is it wrong <laughs> to invade the sovereign nation of Ukraine? <laughs> Now, this could be entering a little of the news. Just how you Shane feel about Gillis. it. Is it wrong to do that? Hold yes? On. Yeah, the answer is yes. Thank you, ma'am. Miss, thank you. Maybe I got to get out of the Ukraine to see it. Do you remember any time? I remember here? nothing! Okay. Um, You're funny. Let's just see what happens here. Let's see if I could catch any of this here. I don't think we'll be able to. I'd really have to go but through this. Somebody's got to go through this. Keep an eye on it. Maybe somebody could find me a direct little thing here. Because I ain't playing around. I want Shane out of business. Okay. I wanna, <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. You got to review these specials. The people want to review. Okay. And I, you know, people don't call me this, but I consider myself to be probably one of the best critics of stand up comedy that exists. Is how I looked at it. <laughs> a very popular topic of the Jerry Springer show was I've got a secret. <laughs> okay, a lot of people had secrets. And, uh, you know, they have a guy with a new girlfriend he's very in love with. They just met. Let's check out the shirts. Well, the shirts are pretty much the same. <laughs> Let's check out the pants. Well, the pants are pretty much the same. The microphone is the same. He's copying! I'm sorry! Sorry, Shane, upon them! 
Okay, you didn't do this on your own. You didn't do this on your own. He didn't do it on his own. He didn't do it on his own. He's copying. He's copying. You thought he was cool. You just like Kurt Metzger. Kurt Metzger put in the work to do what he does. All he's stealing from a lot of other guys do. <sighs> Holy. This. Well, this I don't know. What I, okay, I was, There's more, though. I'm I got one more sure thing. on edibles while we were watching this. So I was laughing a little bit. I yeah. was letting him get to me. I was like, huh, huh Shane's fine. But the best part about that is right after you watch Shane's special, go to Tim Dillon's special. Oh, you got, we'll do that. We'll do that next. Because <laughs> Shane put Tim Dillon to rest. Tim Dillon had to promote Shane's special last night. And he's like, check out this comedy special. <laughs> I need a few days off. I mean, Tim honest. Dillon is brutally ashamed of his special. Now, I love this. I love this special thing. These guys are crazy. A special puts you to the ultimate test. Now, you guys are very lucky that these fucking, uh, what's his name, Joke World and all his little white friends, that they just love everything you guys do. You're so lucky. Because it could so easily be that everybody is as judgmental as me. And they could also, yes. they could hate this because, you know, they just don't have enough time to know how much they're missing with this crap. <laughs> so you guys are so fucking lucky. Tim Dillon's special... We're going to play it right after this so you can see in comparison. And you should watch Shane Gillis' special was the only one where I go, what time is it now? We were 45 minutes in. That's fine. If I'm asking what time for the first time and it's 45 minutes in, you made it watchable. It was watchable. He tried. He gave it the old stand-up. I mean, all I can he think about He was out there being a stand-up. You should have seen him. Now, does that count for anything in my book? No. <laughs> It counts for diddly squat, but you were out there being a stand-up. They could put you on in any club in the city with that act. People would be standing up at the end. They would love it. That was a perfect stand-up comedy act to do, and that should be the minimum. That should be, this should be what, I wish Wednesday there was night way you go to the, this. this should be your opener, okay? This should be the minimum. But it's not. This is uh, apparently the best. This is the best special we've watched. But that means not. I'm telling you, that's Since nothing to celebrate. That's like being Jones. the lightest of the light shirt. It, it doesn't. Nothing is. There are no compliments here. But if you want to make and this by fun, the way, we, we caught like... you with this. You're not going to be holding that. The next time he goes to hold that mic, he's going to be crushed thinking of this. Because how you know into dirty his big day when everyone's celebrating him and now oh it's the Kurt Metzger and believe me that's going to make him nuts. We're so sorry. I didn't know you were stealing. And I don't want these guys to watch and think I'm playing them dirty. You know, because now they all watch everything that we do. Look. The last thing I would want is for Tim Dillon or him to sit at home and go, damn, dude, they're going to fucking like. There's people in the chat right now going, do me Shane dirty? sucks. Shane is cringe. Whoa. And we're sitting here going, it was Whoa. watchable. So that's pretty much it. That's just nice because everything else has been so, so bad. I would still, if I'm great in it, you got a 5.5 out of 10. But everyone else got a 1. And everyone so else. Tom Segura, good. I got like a 2.4 gigahertz. <laughs> just a 2.4. Tom got excited. He said, hold up at the gigahertz. That's a lot more. No. <laughs> 2.4 is what I meant. And let's watch a little bit of Shane. And there's something that also is bringing a lot of difficulty to my brain. A lot of difficulty to my brain. Remind me to show you Tim Dillon after this because you're going to die. Yes, I mean, that's the best part. Tim that's Dillon's... No, I'm t there's more. There's more here. I could feel it. Listen to this. When Tim Dillon went and did his special, he made one major screw up. He forgot that he was Tim Dillon... And not President Donald J. Trump. He went up there and did a Trump speech, and it had a cavernous echo. You'll see. Remember, he's like, where we are, me nothing. And it echo. It sounds like a Trump rally. And everyone was like, oh, God, what is he doing? Wait, you'll see. You'll die. But over here, Shane Gillis does a Trump impression that is so spot on, I thought... <laughs> that they manipulated his voice and edited in Trump. Now, I got an investigation here. Where's the first Trump time code? Do we do remember that? Um, it was definitely near the end. You got to hear this. Shane does a Trump. And let's hear it in the headphones. I heard it three times at the house. 
out of the system, which is pretty transparent. I know my system. I know what I'm listening to. When I heard his Trump at the house two times, yes, I was high. I'm high now. It sounded exactly like Trump. And I don't remember Shane doing a Trump impression that was exactly like Trump. Usually whenever I, I mean, I've seen so many Trump I mean, impressions. there's the sketch where he dresses up as Trump. And yeah. it's sketchy. And we're like, going to show that. He's any Trump. Get me that. And then get me his last special where he did a Trump impression. Okay. Let's hear his new Trump impression. It, if I'm remembering correctly, it was the, I thought it was Trump. Let's see if I could find it. You're a loser. Listen. Your son did crack. And Biden's just... Okay. What? Let's hear some more. Right, damn, dude. There's That's more. a pretty good comeback. You might win this thing. To watch See, stand-up is basically now like, remember what happened throughout the year? We all saw it this way. Ha, 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 but right? Because we know about it. To be fair, this is the only time Shane did that for most of the rest okay. of it. He kept it pretty personal. Dude! Biden! Whoa! Most people, uh, Dave Smith, this is all they do for the whole time. So oh, we gotta show you Dave Smith. There. Dave Smith, he's so cool. No. <laughs> Dave Smith is so cool. No. Back to Shane. We're listening for his Trump. Now, I didn't write down a time code. I think this is important to hear, though. We gotta hear the quality impression of his Trump on this new Netflix special. Then we're gonna compare it to every other time he did a Trump impression. It's not adding up. This, I feel like... Here, I'll blow it here. I feel like Netflix used AI to beef up his... Tr I believe it. I think they go, this special is not going to work. But if that Trump impression was perfect... And I don't even think Shane's smart enough to know. I think they use slight AI talk over technology. So Shane goes... He's gonna be, he's gonna be, he's gonna be. And then they go, let's give it a little bit more Trump. And it's so believable... And people love that. When you come out with like a perfect spot on impression, that lights up the viewer's eyes. That's a show to these types of people. <laughs> I believe, I hereby believe, Netflix is sweetened without Shane's approval. His Trump impression to be more accurate to Trump using AI tools available to all of us on the internet. Fantano knows about this. <laughs> And Let's, you want to know something? Even if that's not true, it's a red bar rumor. That's a red bar rumor. Tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh oh, my clip came off. So the headphones are going to be a lost cause if I don't do this. In ears coming soon. I've been telling you that for two years. These poor doctors. They isn't he supposed to be here today? I'm going to go. I believe me. I had to find three different ear doctors. They won't respond to my emails anymore. Because I keep telling them I'm coming in next week. I never come. Imagine waking up for at like seven or uh, nine a.m. for the doctor. You're like, oh yeah, nine a.m. That's perfect. Nine a.m. comes, you're like, I'll email them. Doctor I mean, you later. already have to go to the doctor enough for real stuff. Going again for just it just really is headphones. I it's like can't. fucking come on. I know. So die. every day I've been putting this off enough. for two years. I'm supposed to have custom in ear monitors built, but I first have to go to the doctor to get a. a imprint of my ear which is easy 20 minutes been putting it off for two years because i'm afraid of the clinic god knows what i'll turn into after visiting the ear doctor i know okay let's listen for a trump anything anytime i watch biden do anything i get the same feeling as like you ever go to a friend's house and they have like a 16 year old dog and it walks in the room <laughs> and you gotta do that my dog like, oh, no nope. hey there he is Nope, my dog is perfectly okay, fine he's looking. Great. He's 18. Trump here, gave here, here, here. Trump, Trump, Trump. Listen, listen, listen. Of world leaders given, you know, it's got to be up there with like Churchill. He loves yeah, presidents. <laughs> See, he's having anyway, a blast tonight. For real, though, it was my favorite speech I've ever seen a president give. It was the night, it was the, night the United States killed the leader of ISIS. He walks up in front of the entire world at midnight and just goes, Abu Bakar. <laughs> Al Baghdadi is dead. He died like a dog. <laughs> that to me sounds exactly like Trump. I mean, and I've got an ear for this. What did you guys think? Doesn't that? Didn't you think all of a sudden he's doing like ADR and Trump? 
So we looked back because I was like, I swear to God, this guy doesn't do a great Trump. I would have noticed that. I've seen these great Trumps. And you go, oh, my God. Oh and I my. remembered his oh my, great Trump speed dating sketch that yeah, everybody Yeah, so let's loves. look at that. And I so remember Shane has done lame. Trump impressions before. So let's hear. And when was this? How long ago was this? Welcome to speed dating. I was asked to speak at this hotel. It turns out there's some type of pussy banquet going on. Can you hold one second? Just give me Listen, a second. This is not as good. <laughs> You, you fucking piece of shit, ugly, Listen. fat, orange. Talk is Trump. Fuck. You're Trump. Let's talk. Social media. They had to take it away. I was too good. In fact, go ahead. Put it back up. Put it back up. People say I've got bad makeup. Tana looks like someone painted her face like a clown. Okay. That's what that is totally different from our new Netflix version of the Trump impression. Let's see if we can catch that again. My favorite speech I've ever seen a president give. It was the night, it was the, night the United States killed the leader of ISIS. Yes, Trump he runs in. Out ISIS, out okay, president. Like so he walks up in front of the entire world at midnight and just goes, Abu Bakar al-Baghdadi is dead. He died like a dog. <laughs> okay. So the impression has gotten a lot better. Is he practicing or is it ADI AI? What we're gonna call her, Tana It the Clown. She looks like a Is it the microphone? Is it the ambience of the Maybe room? Maybe just two years of practice. Well, let's cut to this. Cause here he Has is. Has enough time passed that we can, can we? This is five months ago. Do we have a time code for this one? Um, this is five it's... months ago. Well, this is his last special. Let's hear he his... admit that Trump was funny. <laughs> can we finally admit so that? Here he is on a microphone so we can compare it like stage mic to stage mic with the speaker shooting out. I don't, I don't know. Funny. During Hurricane Dorian, he was like, maybe we should nuke it. Please, do it, do it. <laughs> like, that was... At least was... he knows how fucking cringe doing a Trump impression is, and he does it so sparingly because... That really is, how fucking dare you do it? Whenever I see a guy do a Trump I go, oh, no, 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 no. But when they do it really good, I go, ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wait, wait, click the other link that I sent you. Maybe this one's better. Okay, let's see this one here. All you have to do is, like, get his cadence down. Okay. It's very easy. All you have to do is, like, describe something. This is his last one. And then say you described it that way. <laughs> That's it. It's every time, like... What a big room this is. I walked in here. I said, wow, what a big room. <laughs> that's it. See, that's not in your, nobody would go, ooh, is that Trump AI? But the new one, so he's either rehearsed this a lot, this new Trump, and then what does that look like? What's the security cam footage on that, huh? Practicing Trump so much that you're so impressing Mike from Red Bar with it. <laughs> so it's either they've sweetened it up with AI, which I believe they did behind his back. And I'd like to hear from him on what went on. Did you practice Trump? When you watch this back, does that sound like what you thought it was? Or are you like, whoa, I did really good. Were you surprised? Because maybe he doesn't know. Maybe they did this behind his back. That's something these places would do. Okay, Shane Gillis, and now, as promised... Okay, wait, play for... Just click to, like, the middle or something. Of or Shane? Just the beginning, and just play, like, one minute of Okay, Shane let's first. do one minute of Shane, and we're going to compare him... We're going to compare Shane, who ha it could be in equal health of Tim Dillon. Because my thing is here, we're doing a segment called... How could Tim Dillon sleep at night after watching... You know, Tim Dillon really needs some guidance, some consulting. Okay, let's watch one minute O'Shane. <laughs> Before you live together, sex is like, yeah, fuck me, me. So I played his worst bit to compare it to. <laughs> you know. <laughs> let's do one more minute of Shane from here. Me and this lady went room to room for an hour, and this was the tour. It was bombing. <laughs> <laughs> what is this one minute issue? I was the in the George corner of every Washington room. tour. So he went on a George Washington. He loves presidents. Okay, so you get it. You okay. get it. You this get what Shane. Shane is like. And if you he's see the whole, he's here, just take it from me. If you watch the whole special, there's a liveliness to it. I guess hard to pick out, but there was a bubbliness to it that Tim Dillon lacks. <laughs> so let's go to the next blue lit brick background. Tim Dillon. And just revisit, because this is how we did it. Oh, that's Luis J. Gomez's special. Uh-oh. Tim Dillon should be scared. 
Tim Dillon should be scared. We watch the special. Oh, I just go to it at Netflix, right? Yeah, you have it open, I think. Right. Here's Shane Gillis, beautiful dogs, and you see it's like the same. They're just doing this. Oh, here's Jared Freed with his blue background. You know, how special is this anymore? Blue background boy, blue background. Here's Tim Dillon, though. Let's check out Tim's special after seeing the new Shane Gillis. This is shocking. So what do we... Yeah, yeah, here, we'll put it to the beginning. hi oh hi oh Look at this. Yeah. hi Wait till you see him up close. I like Denver because everybody's so athletic and good-looking. It's true. But when you look in their eyes, something's wrong. You know what I mean? There's just something off about... So he's already kind of sweaty. <laughs> Hold on, this gets pretty brutal. Uh, there's a glaze about them. There's a glaze. You want to go up to the mountain? No, I don't. I mean, to me, they look equally fat and shitty. I'm telling you, when you do this experiment at home after watching the full hour, this but I has mean, a dark. Shane's like to it. nice smile time. Yeah. And then you go to no, Tim like literally, this is like a welcome to hell. Like instead of the audience's laugh, yes. they're being nice. They're like, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, listen, hold on. I grew up white trash. And I know Colorado, you're like, what's that? Uh, <laughs> how can you relate? Oof, it's like a crowd. We were, we were white trash. We Devils. were so white trash. We used to go to Pizza Hut and dine in. Listen to that echo. We ate inside. So low. Pizza Hut. That echo killed him. And they only give that to him so he doesn't touch himself and it doesn't work. Ooh. He's doing a fake voice. We don't even know He's who doing a fake is. voice. She's sweating for minute one. <laughs> Let's just see what he looks like no towards smiles, the end. He's sweating no that nice much. He smiles. won't smile. He's like had it with himself. And you're just seeing shoeless guys. Okay. Right? Well, it made a lot more sense to me the other day. Maybe it makes sense to you at home. There was Shane Gillis' special. Like you, you gotta go. You gotta go.